All 20 drivers on the grid have chosen to set aside their differences and come together to face a bigger evil. Mohammed Ben Sulayem's war on swearing. What was once thought to be a minor issue has now been blown out of proportion, mainly due to the excessive punishment imposed on Max Verstappen by the FIA. Lucky for him, the other drivers aren't having it. Let's see what they're doing about it in today's video. Formula One, drivers are rallying together in an unusually sharp critique of the FIA, delivering a blistering statement that calls out FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem directly. The Grand Prix Drivers Association, or GPDA, has stepped up to voice their dissatisfaction, taking aim at the recent swearing saga that has kept the F1 world buzzing for months. The controversy kicked off in September, when Ben Sulayem urged drivers to curb their use of foul language, arguing that the sports stars have a responsibility to choose their words carefully, even though inappropriate language is typically censored for television audiences. Seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton was quick to push back on the FIA's racist stance, particularly when Ben Sulayem made an example out of rappers, a predominantly black community when pleading his case. Soon after, 2024 championship leader Max Verstappen faced F1's version of community service as punishment for using colourful language in a press conference following the Singapore Grand Prix, a punishment Hamilton didn't agree with. In response to the penalty, Max Verstappen opted to dodge media questions in press appearances over the weekend. Now, the GPDA, essentially F1's drivers' union, has stepped up with a blistering statement, slamming the sport's leadership and challenging their recent decision-making across various issues. The statement, shared on the GPDA's Instagram page, opened with, As is the case with every sport, competitors must abide by the referee's decision, whether they like it or not, indeed whether they agree with it or not. This is how sport works. The drivers, our members, are no different and fully understand that. Our members are professional drivers, racing in Formula One, the pinnacle of international motorsport. They are the gladiators, and every racing weekend they put on a great show for the fans. With regards to swearing, there is a difference between swearing intended to insult others and more casual swearing, such as you might use to describe bad weather, or indeed, an inanimate object such as an F1 car or driving situation. We urge the FIA president to also consider his own tone and language when talking to our member drivers, or indeed about them, whether in a public forum or otherwise. Further, our members are adults. They do not need to be given instructions via the media about matters as trivial as wearing of jewellery and underpants. The GPDA has, on countless occasions, expressed its view that driver monetary fines are not appropriate for our sport. The statement revealed that the GPDA has repeatedly urged the FIA and its president to clarify their strategy behind imposing financial penalties. It ended with a call for greater transparency and accountability in the sport's governance, signalling that drivers are unwilling to accept decisions that lack clear justification. The GPDA wishes to collaborate in a constructive way with all the stakeholders, including the FIA president, in order to promote our great sport for the benefit of everyone who works in it, pays for it, watches it, and indeed loves it. We are playing our part. FIA steward Johnny Herbert called out Max Verstappen saying he doesn't help himself sometimes after the Red Bull driver's recent comments on perceived British bias in F1 drew a few chuckles in Brazil. Verstappen, who made a huge leap toward his fourth consecutive world championship in Sao Paulo, pulled off a legacy win from 17th on the grid amid challenging wet conditions. The victory was Verstappen's first since the Spanish Grand Prix on June 23rd ending a 10-race winless streak, his longest dry spell since the 2020 season. With a commanding 62-point lead over McLaren's Lando Norris, who, despite a pole start, settled for a frustrating sixth place at Interlagos, Max Verstappen is poised to clinch his fourth consecutive title at the upcoming Las Vegas Grand Prix later this month. A victory would place Verstappen in elite company, making him only the second driver in F1 history to secure his first four world championships in consecutive seasons. He would join Red Bull legend Sebastian Vettel, who achieved a similar feat with his sweeping title wins from 2010 to 2013. Max Verstappen's dramatic win, widely regarded as one of the greatest of his career, came just a week after he was slapped with two 10-second time penalties for separate incidents involving Lando Norris at the Mexican Grand Prix, putting the world champion's aggressive approach under the spotlight. Johnny Herbert was part of the four-person panel that issued Verstappen's penalties in Mexico, prompting Verstappen's father, Jos, to express concerns about a conflict of interest among the FIA stewards. 
Dutch outlet De Telegraph reported that Jos was alluding to Herbert, a former Sky F1 pundit who had previously criticised Max's horrible mindset, and Tim Mayer, the son of McLaren's late co-founder Teddy Mayer. Johnny Herbert admitted he admires Max Verstappen's sharp sense of humour and even found his rant at his press conference quip amusing. But he also suggested that the 27-year-old occasionally doesn't help himself with his comments. Herbert said, I loved Max's sense of humour in the press conference. He is so aware of what is going on around him. That is why Max is so popular. Yes, he has an edge. You have to be, to be a champion. Sometimes in certain incidents, a lot of people don't agree. I didn't agree with what he did in Mexico, but he has shown that he can rise above it all and still does have a great sense of humour. He does get a bit of a hard time and sometimes doesn't help himself. But fundamentally, he is a very decent guy. Johnny Herbert's latest remarks follow his response to Jos Verstappen's accusations of bias, with Herbert firmly denying that his personal views affect his judgment in his role as an FIA steward. As I have always said, I am Johnny Herbert the steward and the professional during a race weekend, and Johnny Herbert a pundit at other times who expresses what he thinks. When I am a steward, I do not express any opinions. Everyone has an opinion. Martin Brundle has an opinion. Why can't I when I am not at the racetrack? The racetrack has been my world for 50 years. If I don't quite agree with what I see on the racetrack, I will say so. It is not just Max. I'll criticise anyone if I feel it is warranted. I understand it from Joss's point of view because it is his son. Is there any bias? No, of course not. I wasn't the only one to think that Max was over the top in Mexico. Lando Norris and Zach Brown thought so too. When I do speak to people on a Monday or Tuesday that is outside my stewarding responsibilities, Joss has always been very outspoken about what is happening at Red Bull. Is that his position to be? It is all very similar. If you have an opinion and you want to make it, then you can. Max Verstappen has fired back at Johnny Herbert following Herbert's recent comments about the Dutchman's driving style in the Mexican Grand Prix. He told media, Well, now you know where he stands. It's pretty abnormal for him to say this, right? People act like I'm doing it all on purpose. But they can't see inside my head they are pretty extreme accusations. Yes, we raced hard. That's right. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Verstappen later weighed in on his swearing punishment an issue that Johnny Herbert had also previously commented on. The Red Bull driver took the opportunity to throw a jab at his championship rival, Charles Leclerc, who had recently been fined for swearing during a press conference. Then, Herbert had his big opinion ready, Verstappen continued, that what I said couldn't be done because five-year-olds hear that too. After Mexico, I didn't hear him when Charles Leclerc said the same thing at a press conference that was much better watched. Then again, it was late in Europe by then, maybe the thought was that those five-year-olds are all asleep by then. Formula One could certainly benefit from a shift toward more openness and clearer communication in its stewarding decisions. Do you agree? Or would you rather have things the way they are now? Tell us in the comments section down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.